Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Fuel prices will increase effective tomorrow. A litre of 87 and 90 gasoline will sell for 25 cents more. Diesel and ultra-low sulfur diesel will also increase by 25 cents. Kerosene will, however, see the largest increase going up by $4.50. 25 cents will be cut from the price of propane, while 15 cents will be taken off the cost of butane. Listed company Dollar Financial has raised $1 billion through a bond issuance. However, the company says the offer was oversubscribed. Dollar has therefore exercised the option to upsize the facility to $1.5 billion. The offer date has therefore been extended to October 18. The local manufacturing industry grew by 5.6% between April and June. This was ahead of the projection of 2.8% made in August. The Statistical Institute of Jamaica says the sector's higher GDP was due to a 10% increase in production levels in the food, beverages, tobacco sub-industry. This was mainly attributed to growth in meat and meat products, bakery products, processing and preservation of fruits and vegetables, animal feeds and beverages. An increased demand from hotels, restaurants and schools encouraged growth. The other manufacturing sub-industry, however, declined in real value added by 0.9%. By the fall was primarily due to declines in refined petroleum products. PetroJam operated for less days during the second quarter. Education technology company EduFocal says it could raise more capital in the near term. The recently listed company says it is eyeing a major acquisition as part of its alignment strategy. Gordon Swaby is EduFocal's CEO. We're very close um, you know, to, to, to another possibly, possibly large acquisition. Um, we're still working with the Mayberry team on, on how that will be financed, but yeah, it could possibly be a mixture of debt and equity. It could be straight equity or it could be straight debt, um, but we're not ruling anything out. Edufocal announced this week that it got a $200 million loan from Mayberry. The funds will be used for refinancing debt and expansion. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $153.60. $112.78 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, $169.56 for the pound, while it's costing $153.90 for the euro. And to the stock market now, the JSE index declined by 4,260 points today, while the junior market index lost 22 points. Leading the advances, Jamaica Producers Group, 138 Student Living Jamaica, First Rock Real Estate Investments, Derrimon Trading Company, and Epley. Decliners were led by Everything Fresh, Cygnus Real Estate Financial, Dolphin Cove, Scotia Group Jamaica, and EduFocal. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.